Hi, and welcome to your Jam 6-7. I'd like to walk you through the first steps to ensure your initial experience is successful. While the Jamstick works on a number of platforms, we'd encourage you to register at play.jamstick.com via a desktop computer running Google Chrome, as it will serve as your hub for information, updates, and more. First, we'll take out the Jamstick and accessories. Looks like we've got everything here. And we'll flip the Jamstick over to prepare to install the batteries. Now we'll take out the battery doors and little reference areas inside to show you where you can match the plus and minus sides. And next we'll line up and close the battery doors until you hear a click. You can push again for a second click to fully secure. It's worth noting that a fresh set of AA batteries should power your jamstick for over 72 hours. And if you like, you can use rechargeable AAs, but don't mix and match battery types. Next, we'll power up your jamstick by holding the power button for just about a second. You'll see the LED light indicator turn green, and when it's ready to pair, it will flash intermittent green. The first thing you want to do after power up is connect to the jamstick app on iOS or the play.jamstick.com portal in Google Chrome. For more detailed connection videos, please check out the links above. Now I've already got Google Chrome open, so I'll refresh the page, and the play portal recognizes my connected jamstick. I'll get a pop-up here that new firmware is available, and so I'll set my Jamstick down and let it update. This process takes about a minute over Bluetooth, or 15 seconds over USB. After your firmware update is complete, your Jamstick will power off. Turn it back on, but keep your fingers off the fretboard as it will calibrate itself after a firmware update. To connect over Bluetooth, I'll open my audio MIDI setup, show MIDI Studio, click the Bluetooth icon, and find my Jamstick by its serial number. Now I'll reconnect to Bluetooth, refresh the page in Google Chrome, and I'll be ready to play. So for some basic positioning tips, find a comfortable position to sit down and allow the Jamstick to rest on your lap. Of course, you can use the included strap screws and strap, or utilize the add-on body if purchased. Now you can find more detailed videos on the individual Play Portal experiences, but for our purposes, I'll just jump into open play to demo some basic functionality. Now as you can see, my finger position is reflected on screen as I move around the fretboard. I can give the Jamstick 7 a strum and I'll hear the instrument sound selected. Note we always recommend using wired headphones or a wired speaker to minimize latency. Now here I can change sounds by selecting the instrument selector. I've chosen piano in this case. To mute the sound, I'll use my hand to cover the D-pad. Essentially, any three-button press will mute, and it's most easily achieved using this gesture. You can also use your hand to push down all six strings with a single quick movement, much like palm muting on an acoustic guitar. Now I can use the D-pad for basic functions like octave up and down, capo up and down, or holding enter to activate tap mode. Now you can also reset to standard tuning by pressing the plus and minus buttons at the same time. Just make sure to keep your fingers off the fretboard when you do so. One last thing to mention is that your Jamstick will go into sleep mode after 60 seconds of inactivity, and you've just got to touch the fretboard to wake it back up. When you're finished for the day, hold the power button for one second again to power back down. Please subscribe to our channel for continued updates, and if you have any questions we haven't covered, make sure to visit jamstick.com support, where we'll be happy to help out. Thanks so much for choosing Jamstick. We hope you enjoy your product.